What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name's Loverfella and welcome back to Iced. Iced is a brand new survival game that was basically just released on May 15th and uh, I just played around with it a little bit, try to understand the controls a little bit because it was kind of confusing at first, but I've learned a couple things. Number one, I've learned do not jump into the water or you will die a very slow painful death, much like real life. Number two, I've learned that apparently global warming is not happening as quickly as we'd think because there's quite a bit of glacier still left here, you know, I mean there's, there's a good amount of glacier here, I'm just saying. Global warming's real. I'm just kidding, guys. Global warming's real. There's no denying it. But, like, basically, I've died a lot. I've learned that you can dig in snow, and sometimes you find little boxes in the snow. And so, you find boxes. Sometimes you get, like, a little candy bar. Uh, sometimes you get disappointment, kind of like my life uh, here and there. I'm just kidding, guys. My life's good sometimes. We're gonna run around. We're just gonna... That can't be good. All right, that didn't hurt me. Last time I jumped, I, like, broke my leg or something, which was kind of sad. But anyway, guys, um, it's pretty crazy. Basically, what happened here is my guy was uh, basically camping. This is the story. My guy was camping, hanging out inside that tent back there. Maybe just by himself, doing a little, well, doing whatever people do on uh, on glaciers. And he decided, you know what? I'm not going to go home tonight because there's a storm coming. I'm going to stay here. And then luck would have it that, uh, you know, he gets trapped here. And so now we're stuck and we got to survive on this island. So it's basically a survival game on a glacier. The good thing about that is there's always water for you. You can just drink the snow. Uh oh, what was that? I don't know if there's monsters. I still haven't seen any monsters, but like I kind of I kind of feel like there are. It just seems like the kind of game that would just... Hey, look, there's something over there. Can I, can I, oh man, this is going to be a tricky jump. I'm going to have to jump on that little one. Oh, freaking... I, that, okay. Well, if you wondered how it looks when you die, that's how it looks. And then you kind of restart. Uh oh, look at this. Look at this. New game right outside the front door. Got a little bottle. A little bottle of, uh, what's that? It looks like ocean spray juice or something. Why can't you get it, boy? Gotta dig it out a little bit. It's ocean spray juice. Now, this stuff's pretty hard to drink unless you water it down a little bit because it's such a strong flavor. But that's pretty good. That's a good clutch find right there. Don't really make sense why there's ocean spray juice inside of a little bit of water. Oh, that looks like something. Look, you see a little corner? That's how you know there's a box right here. About to get some buried treasure, boys, or maybe it'll be disappointment. It could be disappointment, too. You never know what's going to be inside of these guys. So anyway, guys, um, today I want to talk about something kind of important. Have you ever met someone who seems like they always hit all of their goals? Like, not, not maybe you don't know what their goals are, but maybe you know someone who gets good grades in school, who's super athletic, who even maybe even is also rich. Like, someone who can just do everything, and you wonder, like, man, what this person get in life to get so lucky to get all that stuff? Or maybe you, maybe you like, have goals yourself, and you just realize you're never actually hitting them. Maybe your goal is to get a six-pack. Maybe your goal is to have a successful YouTube channel like me. Maybe your goal is to just have an awesome family and make, you know, make your make your wife or husband super happy or a significant other, whatever it is. Make them happy. But you realize that you're not hitting your goals. You realize that maybe you're never going to be a big YouTuber. Maybe you're never going to get that six-pack. You just blame genetics. You say, you know what? I'm not meant to be a famous YouTuber. I'm not meant to be a super fit model. I'm not meant for a good family. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just luck. But you ever think about that and you think to yourself, you know, maybe, maybe I just, I'm just not for me and you give up, but why do you give up? That's the real question here. Like I know so many people, did I break my leg there? Oh, leg trauma. Awesome. That's great. Freaking hurt my leg by jumping. Now I'm going to have to walk really slow forever. Oh, there's a box though. We got to move in on that box. You never know what you get. What I'm trying to say guys is that just because you feel like you're not good at something doesn't mean you're not good at it. Like maybe right now you don't have a six pack because you're just not putting the effort in to get there. Maybe your mind knows that's what you want or whatever it is that you want, but you're just not doing it guys, actions speak so much louder than words. So if you're not actually doing it, then you don't want it as bad as you think you do. And like, there's no better time to start than now, because if you don't start now on whatever it is you're trying to do, you're probably never going to start. Everyone says they'll start tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. You need to start today. You need to start tonight. Why is there a fish in this box? There's another can of fire too. That's pretty cool. But guys, tomorrow never comes. It'll never be here. You are always going to be waiting for it to come. And if you really want something, you have to start now. Motivation is going to leave, guys. Motivation will not always be there for you. You're not always going to be able to depend on that great moment, that great feeling where you're like, I can do anything. It's not going to be there. It's about hard work. It's about determination. But more importantly, it's about discipline. It's about saying every single day, I'm going to do whatever it is you want to do to get better because a bunch of small choices eventually lead to a big change. A bunch of small choices every single day is what leads to a big change. You don't get a six pack by doing abs once a week. You don't get a famous YouTube channel by making one video a month. You're not going to have a great family by never talking to your significant other or children. Big changes come with a bunch of small decisions. 
and now it looks like the game's a little bit laggy right now but what i'm trying to say is like you guys have to put the effort in to make these things happen and you have to believe in yourself there are a lot of people that were told wow it's like kind of weirdly laggy right now look at that a lot of people were told what in the world is going on right now maybe maybe it's like so cold it's actually freezing the camera that's what we'll say to make it immersive I'm running 980 Ti, so I, I would be surprised if this is unable to handle it. All right, we've dropped to about one FPS out of nowhere. What the heck is going on right now? What? Look, what? What? All right, guys, so I'm so sorry about that. I actually had to exit the game because it was lagging really weirdly. That's what happens when you get an early access game. But I am going to go a little fishing right now because many of you don't know, but in real life, I have been fishing a couple times. So I do realize that when the little donger in the water uh, bobbles up and down, that means there's probably a fish there or something. So we're going to see if we can't catch us a little little ice fish in here. But anyway, back to what I was saying, Oprah Winfrey, she was told she will never be successful on a talk show. And she was actually fired from her very first job on a talk show. Um, you guys know the band called or whatever artist band, whatever they're called, like Clean Bandit. They wrote the song Symphony, a bunch of other top songs on Spotify along with that. They were told by about 30 record companies they will never be successful. Where the fish at? They were told they'll never be successful. And a lot of people would have quit on the 29th or the 28th or even the fifth time someone said that you were not meant to be an artist, but they never quit. And that led them to be one of the most famous bands right now on Spotify, most famous bands in the world or whatever they are. I'm not sure if they're a band or it's an artist or what it is, but I listen to them all the time. And that's the thing here, guys. People will always tell you you can't do it. People will always tell you you're not good enough. But if you believe you are, then you can do it. If you keep putting the effort in and actually try to reach. Oh, oh, we got one. Look at that little guy. Look at that. Look how quick he died. You'd th you think he'd still be flopping around a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to try to get some more here. If you believe in yourself, you can hit your goals. And that is just what I'm trying to tell you guys. It, I think I've been talking about this for a really long time. So I'm going to go back to the gameplay talk here for a minute. But if you're new here, um, I talk about things like this all the time on my channel. I think that's why most people subscribe to me because I try to talk about life. I talk about spreading love. I talk about motivating you. I try to inspire you. I try to make you see things that you might not be able to see until someone tells you. And so if you like that kind of thing, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel or dropping a like if you want to help me grow. Because my goal, my dream is to hit millions of subscribers one day so that I can influence and change the lives of as many people as um, as possible. So that's my goal. All right. Fishing's kind of crappy. Let's go ahead and let's get out of here. I'm not about to wait all day to catch some fish. That's why I don't fish in real life. But I will tell you, um, let's see what we got. We got to go cook some fish, right? Got to go up here. Got to, uh, oh, what's this? We got to cut the fish. We're about to cut it. Oh, we're about to fillet this. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that's how that works. Is, is that all you do? It's that easy, huh? You just, you just slit it and then it's ready to go. You just eat it, scales and all. I don't know. I'm not a chef, but that, that seems, that seems like the incorrect way to cook a fish. Now what do we got here? Fire. Ooh, that's a, cranking it up right there. Oh, I bet this is the, this is what the fire thing's for. Oh, we want to crank that down. Uh, we got to cook it quick because I have a feeling we can run out of fuel. So I guess we're cooking it on the back of a spatula right there. And it's got a little bit of gut spilling out. Oh yeah, it's getting a little nice gold crispy honeycomb, honeycomb cereal color right there. I don't know if I take it off or if I wait. Let's see, let's just wait and see. Oh yeah, that's definitely, that's ready boy. Good, good cooking right there. Let's go ahead and get the other one. I'm going to crank this one up though. All right, let's go. Max. Max fire fish. Let's see if this one cooks a little bit quicker. I don't know if this is the right way to cook fish, but that definitely definitely went a lot quicker. So good work. We got to turn this sucker off now. Off. Woo. Good work. All right. So if I go to tab, I should be able to see my fish or something. Maybe not. Oh, there they are. And then my food is, let's see. That looks like the food. That's water. Stamina. Uh, maybe that's craziness. That's how in love you are or something. Or I don't know. Whatever heart would be. Let's go back outside, guys. I think... We've done about all we can do inside our little base right here. Let's go. Let's go do some work, boys. Hopefully, we don't get that hit with that lag again. We got some stuff to dig up. I'm going to take off my hood because I can't stand that. I can't stand that unless I'm wearing VR. Dude, what would be freaking sweet? Tell me if you guys would like this. This is definitely way out in the future. But if one day I was able to get a Vive and make Vive videos, like, would you guys like watching that? Because I think that'd be freaking awesome because... I have played on a vibe before. Oh, there's something over there. I played on a vibe before and it's actually just as cool as it looks. All right. Can we do it? Oh, what? Stand up. Stand up. You're not hurt, buddy. You're not hurt. You're good. You're good. You're good. What? What? How the heck did I die? Come on, man. What the heck is that? Are you kidding me? We did so good and then we fell through a glacier. This game's bull crap. I'm just kidding. I suck at it. We're going back one more round, guys. Looks like it's a it's a one and done type deal. So it's like a rogue survival. So we're just gonna go straight outside this time. You guys are probably sick of watching me die and come back to life. I'm just saying though, I feel like I feel like if I was here, 
um, and I fell in the water, I'd have enough energy to like, you know, get out of the water instead of just giving up and dying. But maybe that, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I'm gonna look for a little thing. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go explore some glaciers. We're gonna go see what we can find. Maybe there's a way to jump. Maybe I have to stand and jump. Is that the way to do it? Without falling? Hey, that, that seemed pretty good. All right, we just gotta look for little, little dongers poking out here and there from, oh, there's a little donger up there. You see that little black dot? So it looks like to me, oh boys, you know what time it is? My Fitbit is going crazy right now. Tell me I did a good job with all my workouts today. Trying to hit all my goals. Um, and it just said, congratulations, lover fella. You're the best. You the bomb. Uh, is that a face? Is that? No. Oh, that looks like a shoe. Uh, this isn't a horror game, right? Because that's creeping me out. I'm not good with horror games. All right. Well, I feel like what any man would do in this situation is dig out the... That was, all right, that was definitely a leg right there. Let's just get on in there. We just got to commit to this. Oh, 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 okay, okay. A little bit of a, a little bit of a. Oh, I do not like this at all. A little bit of a body. Okay, take it easy. If this thing jumps at me, dude. I swear, I'm gonna uninstall this game the moment it jumps. It's not gonna jump. There's no way it would. Hey, look. Let's get. Let's get this chest. Well, he's probably a good chest. If he was buried next to it, it's like a buried pirate chest, right? I mean, you'd probably bury yourself next to your most prized possession, right? So it's probably got, like, some jewelry in it or something. Let's see what we got in here. It is. Come on, baby. Something good. Oh, yeah. We got a bottle of lotion. We got a candy bar. And we got we got some orange juice. That's what you were buried with, man? You think you'd have, like, a, like something more important than that? All right. I'm at my heart's... Oh, okay. My heart's beating, like, really fast, guys. Okay. All right. Just gonna. Woo! <clears throat> I, I, man, I feel like I'm gonna get kicked out of my apartment with my screams right now. What is that thing? It's like really late too in my apartment, so like if I do scream, I'm like kind of worried. Oh look, he also got buried with a, a can of beer. That's the way to go, man. No regrets by you, but you just went for it, all right? Probably drank yourself to death out here, didn't you? What happens if I unbury him though? Like this? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. It's like a little medical kit or something. Look at this. This is the this is the spot, man. Got to get a little bit closer there. Dig that one out all the way. Let's see what, let's see what this is. This one is a fresh sandwich, huh? And you just toss it on his body. <laughs> that was a little disrespectful. Okay. And it says use. Oh my gosh, I can use his body. The implication is insane. Oh. Let's finish. Oh boy, this is creeping me out right now. And, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is getting my heart racing. Get, can we get that thing? What is it? Oh, it's a flashlight. It's a flashlight, boys. So you died here. I don't know why I can use your body. I will say that's a little bit weird. A little bit strange. So, uh, um, I guess, I guess you're just dead. Dude, I swear, this thing could jump out at me right now. I'm not going to drop that. We're going to pick up the flashlight because that seems more like a clutch item to me. That's what I like to see. A little flashlight action. How do I use it? Use. All right. Maybe I have to put it in my alpha slot. Alpha. It's an alpha slot. Now I can pick this up. Maybe I can give this one a little alpha slot action too. Not really 100% sure what that means. But, uh, you know, if it's an alpha slot, it's probably pretty good. All right, well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dead Body there, I appreciate you for all that you've done for me. I do hope that you don't come alive in the near future, and I'll be seeing you later. I've got to I've got to survive. This is a dog eat dog world, and uh, I guess well, I don't want to say that because that means I might have to eat you at some point. But I mean, I guess if I'm starving, you do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna go back. Oh, are you kidding me? Did I just break my leg? Oh, thank goodness. I was like, that broke my leg. So uh, it seems like the way to do it is you stand still, you jump, and then you make it across. Easy as that. And uh, hopefully I don't die. I mean, I want to get a high score, guys. I'm just not really sure, like, what's it take? Can you just fish forever and get a high score or something? Or is there more? I don't know. But I really do like the new theme, the way that it's like an Arctic level. Like, it's so different than normal games. Let's just dig straight down here and see what we see. Like, you, there, there's a survival game underwater, Subnautica. There's a dinosaur one, it's Ark. Like, there's all these different survival games, but there really is none where you live on a glacier. And I can see why, because it's, you know, pretty empty. Not a lot happens, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty relaxing, at least so far. 
I'm probably going to keep playing this in my off time, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Kind of my first impressions and thoughts about the game. Um, is it worth a buy? Is it worth buying, picking up this uh, newly released title? I would not say from what I've seen, I would recommend it necessarily, but I will say like most early access titles, it's one to keep an eye on. Maybe it'll get better in the future. But to me, the controls feel a little clunky. Um, it doesn't really feel like there's a whole lot to do yet. But it is pretty, and I feel like it does have potential. But again, you know, pretty much every early access game has potential, or it wouldn't have gotten green lighted. Let's see if we can make this jump, or we're gonna die. Hey, we made it. How about that? I bet there's some good stuff over here we're gonna take care of. Uh, but I won't lie. I mean, it's kind of cool just to chill out with you guys, hang out, and play this game. It's pretty cool. Talk about some good stuff. Um, and if you guys don't realize this, every single Thursday, I'm going to be trying to upload to my vlog channel, Loverfellow Vlogs. I'll try to upload a video. Um, about all right. That's how I die right there slipping on the ice all the time. Oh look There's a little thing get get it. There it is. What is it? What we get? Oh, it's just another can of fire Why is there so much gas in here man people trying to like create bombs or something? It's just weird But yeah, I'm gonna try to upload a vlog every single Thursday And that vlog is just gonna be me talking to my camera um, and just kind of hanging out You know seeing what seeing what I want to talk about whether it's something inspiring whether it's just something going on in my life controversial topic just kind of me being me. So if you guys want to hang out with me, um, that is a great way to do it. And also, uh, if you guys didn't notice, my subscribers that watch all my videos, I'm not using a webcam today. So if you're watching my video right now, I'm assuming you are a subscriber or you're probably going to subscribe if you watch my video this long because that means you probably like my content. And so my question for you is, do you like it more without the webcam? Because I purposely did not put the webcam on today because I've noticed in the past, I actually gain more subscribers and views without a webcam. And so maybe the majority says they like it, but maybe the actuality is that it's not as desired. So let me know what you guys think about the webcam. Maybe I just use a camera for like my vlogs and then just cut out the webcam. Maybe I keep throwing the webcam in. It's up to you guys. Looks like we're back to the old island of the old dead body over here. Let's see. Is it still in the same spot? That's a good question. Oh, there it is. Looking good as ever, my man. Also, it looks like my guy's about to pass out or something because the world's getting kind of... Some, something's going on. I think we got to drink a little bit of dead body, dead body snow. Nothing to see here, boys. Just a little dead body snow. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, as always, don't forget to spread the love. Get out there every single day. Do something nice for someone around you, whether it's a family member, whether it's a stranger, a significant other. Take them out on a nice date. Buy your girlfriend some roses, guys. Get out there and just do something spontaneous and random. Just do something to make someone else's day. I encourage you guys to do it because... Those good things make everyone's life around you better, not just the person you're doing it to. Positivity creates more positivity, just like negativity creates more negativity. But it's not to say that um, either, not to say that you could, should try to cut out either emotion. Positive and negative things happen for a reason, and I would not try to ignore them. Guys, I love you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Spread the love, and I'll see you all tomorrow.